There are over 15,000 pieces in this collection. These are copies of both Time and Newsweek. These are the magazines that pretty much launched Bruce's career into the spotlight, the mainstream spotlight. This is a backstage pass from the River Tour from Brighton, England. Uh, many of the Born in the USA backstage passes had the iconic red, white, and blue flag or stars on them. This is the premiere edition of Backstreet's magazine. This is a fanzine. It's a 1981 piece. There are fans all over the world who are involved with donating their materials. We get pieces on a regular basis. In August of 2011, the uh, full collection came here. The Friends of Springsteen were at the house for a few months. They merged all the pieces of the collection. They archived it, they cataloged it. Uh, we worked with our university uh, website people to get a list up on the website. And in September, we opened it to our first researcher. Now that the collection is at Monmouth University, it's a great resource for future students or scholars to use towards their research and future projects. Having an archives that not only preserves and conserves important documents, but also provides a place where this, this material can be used by people. This is a valuable place, and it's, it's a place that's long overdue. The fact that it also was on the Jersey Shore, that is very much connected to so much of Springsteen's early days and right on up to now. Where better to study local history than Asbury Park and Bruce Springsteen? This archives right now is fan-based, meaning essentially it has a lot of ephemera that fans would be interested in. But if you are a biographer, if you're doing a history of Bruce Springsteen's role in American music or in rock and roll, or if you're doing something on the Jersey Shore music scene, you have to look at the ephemera that fans have put together. And I have to say that this archives doesn't just deal with fan materials. There are great periodicals in here. There are photographs, there are cassettes, there's music, there's interviews. There are plenty of things that allow deep insight for uh, anybody doing serious research. If you're a fan, an academic, an author, or just a student, the Bruce Springsteen archives are a collection of material that you can't find anywhere else in the United States about one artist that not only serves Bruce Springsteen in the sense for those particular individuals, but also gives us a larger idea about cultural and social history throughout time.